My name is Dr. Aubrey de Grey. I am the Chief Science Officer of Sense Research Foundation. I'm going to try and give an overview of the work that we do at Sense Research Foundation, including both the work that we do in-house at our actual laboratory and the work that we fund in various university labs around the country. Um, that work covers a wide range of different um, research programs and the main thing that those programs have in common is that they're all about damage repair. In other words, genuinely trying to eliminate the various types of molecular and cellular damage that the body does to itself in the course of its normal operation throughout life, and thereby uh, functionally rejuvenate people and put them back into a state where they are both mentally and physically as um, effective in terms of their performance as a typical young adult. We believe that if the things that we currently know about in terms of the damage of old age can be repaired using reasonably foreseeable therapies, then we may be able very substantially to postpone the ill health of old age and thereby, of course, uh, greatly extend people's quality as well as quantity of life. Uh, so an example of what we do is the elimination of waste products. Uh, there are various diseases and disabilities of old age that are caused ultimately by the accumulation within the cell of one or another um, metabolite that is created in the course of what the cell normally needs to do, but which the cell does not have any machinery to eliminate, either to break down or to excrete. And in cases like this, the solution that we are trying to develop is to identify other species that do have uh, machinery um, that breaks these materials down. Um, typically, we identify bacteria that have the ability to metabolize these uh, toxic molecules, and we identify the enzymes that they use to do that, and then the genes, of course, that encode those enzymes. And our next step is to tweak those genes, to modify them so that we can put them into human cells in such a way that they still work. And we've been quite successful in that regard with regard to both atherosclerosis and macular degeneration. And actually, both of these projects have now graduated and we are no longer working on them because they are being pursued within startup companies that uh, were created over the past couple of years in order to uh, take these projects forward. We certainly hope that within the next year or so, these, uh, this approach will actually get as far as going to the clinic, clinical trials. Um, so that's an example of what we do. Another thing that we're very interested in is um, senescent cells. Uh, we are interested in eliminating cells in general that the body somehow fails to eliminate on its own. Uh, senescent cells uh, that are phenotypically similar to cells that undergo replicative senescence in culture have been the topic of quite a lot of high-profile research over the past few years. We've done a little bit of that work, other people have done a lot more, and have uh, now actually started to bring in quite serious investment into that space. Uh, but uh, we define the problem a little more broadly, we're interested in cells that are, if you like, death resistant, but which do not necessarily have the same gene expression profile. Um, and one big example of that is the, in, in the immune system, uh, cytotoxic T cells get into a state, especially when they are cognate for persistent viruses like cytomegalovirus. Uh, they get into a state where, again, they do not proliferate in response to antigen, uh, but they also don't die. And there are good reasons to believe that these cells have harmful effects on the functioning of the immune system. So we're developing ways to get rid of them.